But as I mentioned earlier to you, in Islam, men and women are equal. Equality does not mean identicality. Depending upon the makeup, depending upon the background, men and women, they are different. Physiologically, psychologically, biologically, physically, and depending upon the makeup, Almighty God, our Creator, has set roles for them. And there's a verse in the Quran from Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 32. The ayah, our honored Kari from Saudi Arabia, Dr. Uthman, recited. The third last ayah he recited, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 32. It says that do not covet things. Don't say this is right or this is wrong. You may never know. Allah knows what is best for you. What you may think is best for you may not be good for you. What you think is bad for you may be good for you. If you read the Nuzil Quran, why was this verse revealed? This verse was revealed because the wives of the Prophet, they objected to the Prophet and said that, why can't we too go for jihad? We want our rights. What about inheritance? Why aren't we equal? This verse was revealed. Because Allah knows the logic, you don't know. And I gave you the logic of inheritance. Imagine the women want to go for jihad, they want to fight. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, when Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with the rast, that can you go for jihad? It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari. The Prophet said, the best jihad for the woman, it is a perfect hajj. Allah knows what is good for them. And those people who object to Islam and the Quran, they too know, but they don't want to admit. This Western world, this Western media, which are pointing fingers to Islam, I'm asking this media, the Western world, they too, if they say that Islam subjugates the women, they are bigger subjugators. I ask a simple question. That when you have sports, why do you have men and women taking part separately? In Olympics, for the 100 meters dash, why don't the men and women run together? Why? Why separate for men and separate for women? Why? When you are swimming, freestyle swimming, why men and women are separate? Why? They should have together. You know, when you have lawn tennis and badminton, men's badminton, women's badminton. Why? You know, you have mixed double. Mixed double means one man, one woman. Means one is superior, one is inferior. Mixed double? Why don't you have two men and two women against each other? You have one man, one woman in one team, other team, one man, one woman. Why don't you have two men in one team and two women in the other team if they're equal? Because the Western world knows that physically men and women are different. Why don't you go and tell the judges of Olympics, why are you subjugating the women? Why don't you let the women and men run together? Has any media ever objected to the Olympics? To the Wimbledon? No. You have boxing matches. Have men and women together against each other. Why not? See, when you appear for your examination, standard 10, men and women sit together. When you appear for graduation, men and women appear because they know, fine, where studies are concerned, men and women are equal. But where physical thing is concerned, they're different. You know, you have beauty contest. In beauty contest, we have female separate and male separate. Do you have together? Do you have any beauty contest we have seen the men and women taking part together? Have you seen any? Why? Because the beauty of a woman differs than the beauty of a man. So even the Western world knows that, but they don't want to admit it. So many a time, the competition, they are identical. Sometimes they aren't identical. So depending upon what field are they competing in, we decide. Oh yeah? Men, women are separate. Here, yeah, men, women are same. But who is better than our creator? Who knows the human being better than our creator? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he has mentioned in the Quran, his last and final revelation, where the women and men are identical, where they are different. Overall, 
men and women are equal, but they are not identical. And I would like to end my talk by giving a simple example to you. Suppose in a class, two students, A and B, both get 80 out of 100 in the examination, and both come out first. When you examine the answer sheet, the 10 questions, each carrying 10 marks. When you examine the answer sheet, you come to know the student A got 9 out of 10 in answer number 1. Student B gets 7 out of 10 in answer number 1. So in answer number 1, student A has a degree of advantage over student B. In answer number 2, B gets 9 out of 10 and student A gets 7 out of 10. So in answer number 2, student B has a degree of advantage over A. In all the remaining 8 answers, from question number 3 to question number 10, both student A and B, they get 8 out of 10. Both are equal. If you total, the aggregate is 80 out of 100, both are equal. But in answer number 1, student A has a degree of advantage. Answer number 2, student B has a degree of advantage. All the other answers, both are equal. So similarly in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows where women are equal, they have equal role. Where they are identical. Wherever they are identical, they have identical role. In some aspects, the men have a degree of advantage. In some aspects, the women have a degree of advantage. For example, where it comes for love and compassion towards parents, as I mentioned in the Hadith of Bukhari, volume number 8, Book of Adab, Book of Manners, chapter number 2, Hadith number 5971, where a man comes and asks the Prophet, who deserves the maximum love and compassion? The Prophet said, your mother, your mother, your mother, and then the father. So here, the mother gets three times more love and compassion from the children as compared to the father. So here, the mother has a degree of advantage. But for example, if a robber enters my house, if a thief enters my house, I'll not tell my wife and my daughter, go and fight, I believe in women's rights. Allah says in the Quran in the Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 34, Allah has given more strength to the men as compared to the women. So it's my duty to fight. One degree additional responsibility in supporting her. Have ever men objected that why can't I give birth to a child? Has that the prerogative of the female? Why don't the men object that why can't I best feed the child? That's the prerogative of the female. So depending upon the biological makeup, depending upon the physiological makeup, depending upon the psychological makeup, Almighty God has given different roles for the men and women. Sometimes the men have a degree of advantage, sometimes the women have a degree of advantage. Overall, men and women are equal. That's the reason. If you analyze the women's rights in Islam based on Quran and authentic Hadith, you have no option but to agree that the women in Islam, they are protected and they are not subjugated. Wa akhrad dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.